What up, brothers and sisters? Back to continue our tour of the NFL stadiums in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, uh, we've done the AFC East Division, we've done the AFC North, and the AFC South. We're now going to do the AFC West, which includes the, Denver, the, the, excuse me, the Denver Broncos, the Las Vegas Raiders, the Los Angeles Chargers, and the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to start with the Denver Broncos first. And let's see, I know where Denver is. That's in Colorado, obviously. Very beautiful place there. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Denver International. Set as departure. Let's make sure the flight conditions are ideal. Okay. Clear skies. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. Time to take off from Denver International. I have been to Denver in this game before. I was flying other documents. I did see the Broncos Stadium. It's right in the Denver area. We'll find it. I can't imagine playing a football game in this kind of weather. The air is like so. The air quality, like the air density is so low up there, it must be hard to breathe. That's what they, that's what a lot of people say, it's like the Denver Broncos Stadium is like one of the hardest places to play on the road. Especially in the winter. Okay. And we're ready to take off. Okay, we gotta wait for the tail to lift up. Come on, lift up. Lift up. There we go. Okay, hold on. I want to wait. Okay, now we can take off. Oh, that was going to crash there for a second. Alright, let's see if we can find Denver. Now, it's right in the background of the mountains, so... It should be in this direction. It's hard to see where all the mountains in the way. Let's open the map quickly. Let's see. Uh, yes, it's to the southwest. So we're going to head southwest. I was right, it was next near the mountains. Well, this place is definitely safe from um, the polar ice caps melting. I'm sure the air pressure would be much higher, but at least it wouldn't be flooded. It's kind of cam the city's kind of camouflaged with the mountains, but it's over there. Got a nice patriotic looking plane. That's part of the game. Yeah, the city really is blended in with the mountains.
Might as well fly a little bit lower. Yeah, the altitude here is like over is near over 5,500 meters, uh, 500, 5,500 feet. So yeah, this place is definitely safe if the polar ice caps melt, unlike Miami and Jacksonville. That place is definitely not going to survive. New York City and Boston definitely wouldn't survive either. Is that Denver right there, maybe? I don't know, it looks kind of small from here. Let's find out. Oh, I see Denver, it's right there. I think that's Denver. It's kind of like only two buildings there. I think it's just not loading properly. Man, Denver is so far away from the International Airport. Jeez, it's like really, really far. It's like probably 20 miles. Okay, now I can see more buildings coming up. Yeah, that's definitely Denver, all right. like a what's this like apartment complex altitudes over 6200 feet it's like the altitude up here is really really high I can see some cars man I have no idea how far that airport was I think I can see the runway from here yeah, it's like super far. Yep, that's Denver, all right. Almost there. Did the Colorado Rockies play in Denver? I'm not entirely sure. I know more about the NFL stadiums than the baseball ones.
Okay, we're nearly at Denver. I see a big area to the right. I don't think that's the stadium. Uh, it's in this. It's right next to downtown. Okay, this, this place might be it. Let's see. Or is that... Hold on. No, that's the Colorado Rockies baseball stadium. Okay, I was right. Now, where's the Broncos stadium? Is that it? Maybe right over there? Okay, this arena right down there is probably where the Denver Nuggets play. And I'm guessing the Colorado Avalanche of the NHL, maybe? <laughs> Looks like an amusement park right there. Looks pretty cool. See water parks and everything. Uh, yep, that's the Denver Broncos Stadium, alright. Mile High, I believe it's called. It's, yep, you can see the Broncos logo and everything. Alright, that's one down. We got three more left. In this, um, in this, three more in this, not only this division, but also in this conference. We'll be concluding the AFC conference, so we're gonna click the back to the menu. Now, this is gonna be, this will be interesting to see because now we're gonna go to the, oh, uh, actually, never mind. We're actually gonna go to the Kansas City Chiefs next. Trying to do them in order of this, alphabetical order of the city. Now, I've also been to Kansas City in this game, too. If I can find it, it's hard to see without the borderlines. Let's see. Where are you, Kansas? Okay, there's Oklahoma, so it should be right... Okay, maybe right here? No, um... Where are you, Kansas? I think... Was it Kansas above Oklahoma? Okay, I found it. Yep, there it is. That was tricky. Alright, let's make sure the flight conditions are ideal. Gonna have a few skies. Let's make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Let me pour myself a drink while I'm here. Just Coca-Cola. Nothing, nothing hard. Now, I know for a fact that the Kansas City Chiefs game is right next to the, the Kansas City Worlds play of baseball. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, now lift off. Come on, lift the tail, lift the tail. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if we can find Kansas City. Kind of hard to tell. Let me ch tell you what. I'm going to check the map right now, see where it is. Okay, it's to the southeast of here. So right in this direction. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I don't see the city yet. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's right there. Oh, it's pretty far away. Everything's always so far away from the international airports. I guess they don't want the airplanes crashing into downtown, but it's a little bit excessive. I mean, I don't even think that airport was facing towards that city. You really had to drive like 20 miles out of your way from the city just to get to the airport. Looks like a high school right there. Not sure which one. This game is very beautiful. I mean, granted, it's not perfect, but it's... I've said this many times, it's without a doubt the best flying simulator ever. At least for now. I mean, hopefully we'll get a better one in like 10 years or so. Makes me excited for the future. What a time to be alive. Man, those, there's a lot of trees in that residence. There's trees right in the middle of the street, too, it looks like. I've checked, and, like, these... Like, there's nowhere near as many trees in these residential areas as there is in real life. It's like, it's like... It's like, people said this is completely inaccurate, but it's beautiful regardless. I mean, it'd be nice if there was made this many trees in real life. I believe Microsoft said there was like two trillion trees in this game, which is a lot. <laughs> All right, let's see. Looks like we're about to fly over an airport, but don't worry, we have traffic turned off, so no chance of a collision. Yeah, it looks like there's an airport right next to the city. I'm like, why is there an airport? Why is this airport so close to the city, but the international one's like 20 miles away? Makes no sense. Kansas City is actually in Missouri. A lot of people make that mistake. I, I know Kansas is a state, but Kansas City is technically in the state of Missouri. Alright, we're heading towards downtown. Man, those bridges look kind of glitchy. I mean, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that. You can't fly out into them. Don't try. Be, be cool if you could, but no, you can't. Now, 
And as I said, the Royal Stadium and the Chief Stadium is right next to each other, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. I've been here before. Okay, now which which NBA team and which NHL team plays Kansas City? I can't remember. Do they? I don't remember. Kansas City, Kansas City. I gotta look it up. Remember, it's called the Spirit Center. Alright, let's see. I believe... Hmm. I don't think it was close to the buildings. I think it was a little bit farther off. Gotta be on the lookout for a large parking lot and two big buildings. Well, this airport's simply called Hart. I like that name. That's a nice name for an airport. Is that it right there, maybe? And there's a high school down there. Or looks like a high school. It could be middle school. I'm not really sure. I think I see something right there. Yeah, it definitely looks like a stadium, all right. As I said, it's a little bit farther off from the city. Yeah, it's actually pretty far. So like, you might not be able to see the city from the ground from here, maybe. I don't know. And there's the Kansas City Royals Chiefs, uh, Kansas City's Royals Stadium to the left, and that's the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium to the right. I'm gonna fly over it. It looks like the Chiefs practice, uh, yeah, that's where they practice and train. And there's the stadium. I believe it's called Arrowhead Stadium. It's one of the known for being one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL. I, I know that the Seahawks stadium was loud at one point, but I'm not sure who currently holds the record. i have to look up on that. Alright, well that's two down in this division and two more to go. Now this next one's going to be a little bit more interesting, because now we're going to go to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, up until this year, the Raiders played in Oakland. And they've only recently... They're actually starting their first season in um, Las Vegas this year. Well, te not technically Las Vegas. It's The city is actually called... Um, yeah, it's actually called Paradise. Nevada. It's actually in Paradise, Nevada. So we're going to have to look for Nevada Paradise on the map. Let's see, Nevada, where are you? There's Las Vegas. Now I just gotta look for paradise on the map, so excuse me for a minute. Let me see how far away from Las Vegas it is. Now I don't know if the stadium is actually built in this game because it's only open this year. So, I'm not entirely sure if it's in this game. Okay. Okay, it's Las. Okay, Paradise is just the south of Las Vegas. Let's see if we can find the stadium. Uh. Hmm. Because I don't know if we're gonna have a full season this year because of the coronavirus. It's like almost everything's temporarily closed. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Look it up on the map. Okay, it's right next to a highway. It's south of Las Vegas. It's actually to the west of the McCarran International Airport. So let's see if we can start there, actually. So we'll be right next to the airport. Yep, it's McCarran International Airport. It's right there. 
So it's pretty convenient for once. We don't have to go like to travel for like tens of miles just to get to the city. All right, we're ready to go. Now let's see if this stadium is actually in the game, because it was only it only finished construction this year. So I can't guarantee it'll be in this game. It could be like under construction still. I'm not sure how up to date these Bing maps are, in, but we'll see. If not, we'll go. If it's not in this game, we'll go to the Raiders' old place in Oakland, which is right across the bay from San Francisco. Oh yeah, the Raiders fans are some of the most passionate fans of the NFL. I mean, they take their they take their team very seriously. I mean, they have been struggling a lot in recent years, but they they used to be a dominant force in the 70s and 80s. I mean, they were they were the team that most pe teams didn't want to play against. They were rough. Oh jeez, that was weird. It's like a weird glitch. All right, let's see. It's to the west, I believe. I said, yeah, west. Okay, actually heading west. How convenient. All right, come on, lift up. No, I'm not ready to lift up yet. I want to get a little bit faster. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if it's in this game. Correct the altimeter. Well, this place is definitely safe for the world if the polar ice caps melt. We're at 2,000 feet altitude-wise. Alright, let me just check the map quickly. Just make sure I'm going... I believe I said... Okay, it's right... Next to a golf course. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay, it's right next to the entrances to the highway. So we should be able to find it pretty easily. It's not that one. Heading west. There's Las Vegas. Now we're going to see if the stadium's actually completed in this game. Okay, it's got to find entrance to a highway. It should be right around here. Yeah, I think I could see it. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like it's it, but I don't, that does not look like a stadium. Let's get closer. I'm going to check the map to confirm this is the location. Let's see. And it definitely looks like construction. Let's pause it quickly and check the map. Yep, that's the stadium. That's, But it's not completed in this game, so which doesn't really surprise me. But, okay. At least we know it's not complete in this game, so now we're going to quit the menu. Oh, you want a tour of Las Vegas quickly? You can do that. Well, there's that famous pyramid. I wonder where... Where's that Eiffel Tower building? I've heard about that. I've heard there's an Eiffel Tower model, like, like a replica. And there's that famous toy, like, castle place I've seen, like, video games like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. They should make, like, the next Grand Theft Auto game in um, Las Vegas or something. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. Probably not as tall as the real one, but pretty cool. This whole city looks like a toy. I mean, it looks like, it looks like a Matchbox city or something. That's what I like about it. I don't like the gambling at all, but... It's a pretty... It makes you feel like a child when you're not, when you're just having fun in the city, not gambling, of course. I don't really approve of gambling, but that's just me. There's some more construction going on over here. I don't know, I wonder what this looks like now. 
Alright, well, that's pretty much Las Vegas, so now we're gonna... Actually, we're gonna head to Oakland now to visit the Raiders' old stadium that is still there. I know this for certain because I've been there in this game. It's also where the Oakland Athletics play at the Major League Baseball. Oakland's right across the bay from San Francisco. So, San Francisco should be right here. Yep. Okay. Gonna take off from Metropolitan Oakland International. This is also pretty close to where the San Francisco 49ers play, but we're not gonna go there right now. We're gonna go there later. That'll be the last division we're actually gonna fit, go to our, toward the NFL stadiums. Mm -hmm. Alright, now it's, we're going to take off. Oh, the plane didn't like drop from the sky again like it did last time. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa, did you see that? Um, well, I guess I reset. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Sh Hopefully it won't take too long to load since we were right next to the airport. <laughs> that should not have happened. I have no idea what I did. Well, hopefully it won't do it this time. If not, I'll just try another plane. I apologize for that. I don't... I don't... I did not do that on purpose, I swear. If it, do if it does it again, I'll just use drone mode. Uh, it's it again. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do drone mode, which will make it harder to use the map since the drone mode doesn't work. But we're gonna reset it anyway. So we're not looking silly. I don't know what just happened there, but this area appears to be glitched. I apparently hit a visible barrier or something. But we're gonna just gonna use drone mode for now. It'll make things easier to control, and we actually don't have to be blocked by the view of the airplane, so. The problem is, though, the map I'm using online doesn't work with drone mode, so. Here we're gonna get drone mode. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna increase the speed all the way up. Okay. I don't know why that... I don't know why the game decided to glitch right there. I mean, it did it twice, so it's definitely no accident. I mean, it definitely was an accident, but... I'm just saying, it, is, it didn't just happen by chance. It was... There was an invisible barrier there. Okay, and that's... That's where the Raiders play. I know it looks like... I know it's a baseball stadium. They shared it with the Oakland Athletics. But it's also designed to be a football stadium. Now, a lot of people have criticized the stadium as being one of the worst in football, in both fo professional football and baseball. And that's pretty much the reason why the Raiders play moved to Las Vegas to get a new stadium. Because this one right here was in really bad shape. But I would still, I would still like... I don't think we should judge the about how our conditions are. I mean, we, we go there to enjoy, watch the game. We don't go there to enjoy the luxury of the stadium. And which team plays here? Oakland... I don't know. Oracle, I don't recognize it. Oh, well, that's... Yep, that's Oakland Athletic Stadium. So now we're going to go back to the main menu. Now we're going to the last team of the AFC and the AFC West, which is the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the Los Angeles Chargers were playing at a temporary stadium that was designed to be a soccer stadium. They were playing at... What's it called? Let me check. Um, they were playing at... Dignity Health Sports Park, which is, I believe, I believe it's a soccer stadium, it's a small one, 
It's in Carson, in California, but their new stadium, which I assume is going to be still under construction this game, is in Inglewood, California. And I'm just going to check the map to see where Inglewood is. I assume it's near Los, Fe Los Angeles. But we're going to make sure. Okay. Map. Okay, it's actually right next to the Los Angeles International Airport. So, that's pretty convenient. Maybe I'll just use drone mode again. Since that's probably a lot easier. Okay, Los Angeles International. So this is another convenient. Let's see. I'm pretty certain it's going to be still under construction, this game. Because... This is the stadium that where the where the Los Angeles Chargers and the Los Angeles Rams will share together. Yeah, only two other teams share a stadium together. That's the New York Jets and the New York Giants, which was in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And that was that awful looking stadium in my in the AFC East video. It was like it would look terrible. It was a terrible rendition. Of the stadium, and it's like I think you would think that you know, considering the Giants won four Super Bowls, they would have put more effort into this. I mean, and the Jets did win a Super Bowl, but it was like in the '60s, so it's been a while. But you would think the Giants would get, you think they would put more effort into it in making a Giants stadium look good. I thought the Bills stadium looked bad, but this one was ugh. At least the Bills stadium has a high quality texture and not I mean no it's not 3D model but at least it looks like the real stadium even though which is a flat image all right we're gonna go into drama this time just change things up okay we're gonna set the speed all the way up now it's gonna be hard since I don't have the compass to work with hmm, okay there's Las Vegas maybe I should have used the plane Yeah, I think I will use the plane. All right, let's go back. Since I can't use the compass on Dromo, which is really stupid, you know. And I can't use the map online either for it. But hopefully, it won't glitch up this time. But if the stadium is not rendered in this game, we're gonna go to the the the, the one in. Where they play soccer, I, which might be in this area, I'm not entirely sure. So maybe we don't have to exit the level, go back to the main menu to find it. All right, now let me just check this map quickly to see where I'm going. Can't get it in the map though, but we should be heading right towards it. Once I get closer to Inglewood, I'll check again. I have a good feeling it's not gonna have a 3D it's not gonna be a completed in this game. Because if the Raider Stadium wasn't completed in Las Vegas, why would this one be completed in this one too, so Alright over there is Los Angeles. I been here a few times in this game. It's a pretty big city. It's also famous for being in the city in Grand Theft Auto V. It's alternately named Los Santos. And the Los real Los Angeles area is about 90 times the size of the real of Los Santos, so it's a huge area. Oops. Okay, that looks like construction right there. Let's get closer. A lot of residential areas. Hopefully it's a nice neighborhood. I mean, Los Angeles is kind of known for having bad neighborhoods, but hopefully this one's nice. And that definitely looks like work on a stadium. But we're going to 
check the map to make sure this is where it is. So I'm going to pause it. Check the map. Yep, that's it. That's where the... Yep, that's it. That's where the Raiders are supposed to play. Oh, excuse me, the uh, Chargers, excuse me. <laughs> and I see an R stadium there. What stadium is that? Is that, the, like, the Clippers or the Lakers? I don't think so. I think the... I think the Lakers playing downtown. Form! Okay, yeah, that's... It's, like, for bands. Okay. Alright, well, sorry the Chargers stadium and the Rams stadium is not in this game, but we're gonna see where their soccer stadium was. Um... It was called Dignity Health Sports Park. We're going to check the map quickly. Let's see. Okay. Um, it's to the south east of here. So, it's actually right next to a highway and next to a golf course. So we should be able to find it. So we're going to go southwest. Or southeast, excuse me. It's a, it's the smallest it was it was the small stadium in the NFL last year because it wasn't their permanent home, it was only a temporary home. So a lot of people like to make jokes that the Chargers had the lowest attendance in the NFL. Well, that's because they played in the small stadium in the NFL. You know, there wasn't enough room to put 70,000 plus fans in there. So that was kind of like the joke, or people would just want to take it out of context. I keep saying San Diego Chargers. It's a habit I have not yet broken yet. It's hard to break that habit. Okay. And it's going to be the hardest one to find, probably, because it's so small. Just check the map. It's going to be hard to find. Probably not having a 3D model. Okay, it should be. Oops, wrong one. Okay. Okay, it should be past this big highway right here. It has four intersections. Maybe just pause again to make sure it's over here. Is it? Okay, no, I'm nowhere close to it actually. Hold on. I think. Okay. Okay, it might be south of here. I apologize for the delay. It's so hard to find out where you're going. Okay, it's probably it's probably south of here. We'll find it, don't worry. So just follow this highway.
Okay, we should be approaching it right now. So it says, I should be right next to a golf course. It's going to be the smallest stadium and the smallest one we've seen so far. Well, actually, we w will see, actually. Never mind. <laughs> it will be the smallest stadium we'll see at all for the, or toward the NFL stadiums. Let me see. Let me just check the map one more time. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, it looks like it's it, so just to the to the right of this highway right here. Now there I think I can see it. It's right there maybe. That looks like it's it. Let me just let me just pause the game again to make one more time to make sure. Yep, that's it. That's that's the temporary home of the Sa Los Angeles Chargers. I almost said San Diego again. And that concludes both the AFC West Division and the AFC Conference. Wow. And we're still only halfway done, so we got the NFC coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Did I fly over your house or you want me to fly somewhere else? Let me know in the comments. And please join my St. Jude's Tuna House with help children in need. And I will talk to you later.